everyone so today we're gonna have another air to ground practice this time we're gonna use the AGM 65F or the infrared versions of the Maverick so IR MAF so and there will be several threats uh, around Tonopa Airport so Tonopa Airport has been occupied by, by the enemy tanks there will be 6 T-72B and 4 T-90B uh, T-90 tanks MBT so main battle tanks so there will be uh, 10 of them but of course we only have 4 so we are gonna do some tank destroying at this practices ok so let's go so as usual we go to start cold and dark I'm um, gonna do a quick one a uh, quick start battery on and then APU okay let's wait for the green light on the APU the the complete startup because it's very complex so we won't go through that so right engine crank okay so we wait until 25 21 so you see 24 uh, 35 okay let's start the right engine so I put the idle the throttle to idle positions I set up a switch uh, behind uh, there's a micro switch you know that would connect to the idle and off positions in the setting okay so it's ramping up to 400 and then stabilize around 300 something once it stabilized between Betty yeah that's between Betty has sound okay good and that's set up the let's uh, bleed there one two three four so we return the bleed air 360 degree and we can uh, now uh, switch on the mi uh, left ddi right ddi mpcd and hud so let's uh, crank left engine stop the blinking and then we can start alignment to ground and we're gonna use store heading so you see I can detect the center by there's a D10 here um, we can see there's a small uh, beat attached to this uh, display area here I can sense it this must be the center and then store heading will be next to it okay so I think in every display I put a bead on the, the center of this uh, so there will be a bead here uh, it gone here uh, I, I don't need to this one because I can just uh, uh, touch this one and then must be then this one is a bead here over here you can see there's a bead also on the on this one okay and this one also is F5 F3 most common okay so thing we put on idle on uh, left uh, throttle and here we gonna put on green and let's uh, sorry this one uh, ADI uh, uh, analog ADI so backup one so let's uncatch and let's put on oops around 800 and then I think that's it let's go uh, FCS here so there's a lot of uh, cross over there so let's uh, let's start the sorry let's reset that uh, Cross, so that's gone. And trim. Sorry, before that, I think I got to go to. 
again and then run the trim 12 okay after this we're gonna do uh, our box on and then let's close the window or uh, the canopy okay so let's do the bit test so let's go to bit test over here and then on and FCS in test so there will be in test over there and it's moving all the uh, if you go outside oh, I cannot see it fortunately inside the, this bunker uh, the yeah it will finish soon okay so it's finished the flight control system check or bit test so we can set here on FCS this one can go to HUD yeah so okay uh, let's set the bingo fuel into half of the center tank or internal tank so around 5000 what else this one is okay so let's uh, put on IFA or the GPS combined with INS navigations and rather to operate don't worry they it won't operate until we leave the ground RWR and then dispenser on and I think I haven't set up this one uh, let's put on ATM on standby what else uh, that's it and this one to radar uh, we haven't notified ATC though that we are um, uh, uh, anti-skid on let's put flap to half again and I think we turn off the formation light because you don't need it all box on on light here on well we can test the light test I think everything should be okay and uh, harness it on and then uh, ejection sheet I suppose we arm first when you are starting the engine because if something happens well not in this inside the uh, hangar though uh, if you reject it if you will hit the ceiling okay that's it i think we are ready uh we can program several things here uh, first of all the uh the counter measures i think uh we're gonna do decreasing the shaft the flare and the shaft and then uh, save it and then return and then mode to manual Okay, so I think it's done so let's do HUD first and then uh, once you are ready for HUD send HCM send by everything uh, yeah master arm off or save everything I what else okay I think that's it so we can uh, Oh, sorry on the flare because we use a teapot um, targeting pot uh, we bring a targeting pot so let's put it on standby so it's ready to be used later on I think Pito and everything we, I want to check the uh, uh, refueling probe uh, hooks and everything I want to check today uh, let's go straight to departure okay so let's call uh, ATC so we're gonna do well I have to request them I should have requested earlier but it's okay everything check okay let's let's go uh, and then uh, in front of them then we gonna turn left first and then uh, heading toward the uh, come on emergency brake is off I don't know I think the programming is off or uh, it's broken again unfortunately 
it, it could be broken though because everything is working except for this one so there might be some loose uh, soldering things again in behind it anyway so I need to replace the cable into a stronger one okay so let's go got a taxi to the left so as you can see it's still uh, in the middle I think the radio setting is off uh, I mean I need to check again but for today's session uh, so it should be okay without the radio but I changed several audio systems anyway so I might be off a bit yeah that's the end of the runway so we gonna go there we are bringing for uh, IR map or air map. So okay, that's the runway over there. Uh, DIY cockpit of course sometimes you experience several uh, kind of uh, quality issues I guess because using uh, non-industrial grade of course I'm using like acrylics uh, resin printed printed materials things like that which is not so durable and sometimes if your soldering skill is not that good uh, you kind of miss several things okay uh, anyway, so okay, so here we are on the runway. Seems the radio is off. I don't know, the ATC is not. Okay, so we just go. Uh, let's check stick, rudder. Okay, so let's uh, put the burner on. So we're gonna use auto burners. Oops. Okay. 150. It will take off by its own. Okay. Gear up. And then uh, auto. Flap auto. And let's put on mail. And then I forgot to set the waypoint into number one. Uh, but we're gonna do directly to number two and designate it as oh, target. Okay. So we're gonna put here the let's do hormones immediately and then do a flare. So activate a flare flare activated uh, and then that's the flare I think yeah that's the target over there I think we're just going to arrive quite uh, soon so we're gonna do some sorry just we I have to select the left uh, the right uh, and then uh, let's let's do zoom uh, I don't know where is it Is that uh yeah I think so. I mean uh 
I think I have to wait uh, circling back because I'm too close to to the target area. Uh, I know I'm not sure what it is. I think it's supposed to be there, but um, let's see if we can uh, find it. Okay. Uh, Okay, that's the that's supposed to be there. Uh, I think this is the one, right? Yep. So we're gonna select the map and set the map into instant and POV. Sketch. Uh, the track wide menu. Okay, we're gonna circle first. I think it's not yet active. Uh, the it's going to be uh, several minutes more. Yeah, so we're gonna circle back. So uh, I think. Uh, This is going to be using barometric. We're gonna circle back so uh, we are not uh, yet ready to. Oops, sorry. I think there is a one minute, a two minutes, or a few minutes uh, timing uh, delay on the seeker head. So once it's uh, ready, we're gonna launch. Okay, now we're gonna go back, sorry, to the target area. Okay, uh, 30 second, 30 second more. I think the target area is behind us, so let's uh, enlarge that mm, to 20. Nautical mile. Okay, 18, 15 more seconds. Okay, so three more seconds, two more seconds. Uh, okay, good. So Maverick is ready now. So let's go around. So we're gonna uh, try to. Uh, get uh, into the target area okay that is the one so let's zoom I think it's missed a bit yeah so that's I think around that one and let's uh, cage oops okay uh, let's go to the left. It's on cage now and it's ready. Uh, once it's ready, we're gonna launch and then we change uh, to the next targets, okay? So let's. Uh, I think 20 seconds, 18. 
15, I think around 8, uh, 5 months, uh, 7 months or something, I don't know. Okay, so it's going to be very, uh, so using, um, using targeting pot is quite convenient because you can basically uh, in rain so okay in rain so now we going to launch so go to the right again so let's move to the next targets uh, come on uh, so I think that's another one over here over there yep over there Yep, that's uh, main battle tank uh, T90. Uh, Come on. Okay, let's target that one. Uncage and one more. So I can uh, uh, go ahead and uh, banking and then let's do some player. Destroyed one. So we'll see about this one if it's destroyed also. Okay, check one. Okay, so we'll have two more uh, left. So we're gonna circle back. So it's very close. Um, I don't know how far is uh, our map. I think it's, it's it's better to be quite far away because if it's too close, you're gonna do you're gonna get some uh, like uh, threat from the Sam and some defensive uh, uh, activity from the nearby area so I think it's it's not that far of course this one oh too slow be careful with the speed I'm just flying too slow I'm still using uh, waypoint 2 uh, as the designated target for the for the teapot to to track to. So let's see. Okay, I think it's tracking, but. Uh, Yep, it's I need to circle back basically. Okay. I'm going to uh, be a bit far away because uh, there is uh, time to let's see if I can move it uh, to the next target over there. Okay, let's uh, turn. Okay, let's turn. Uh, the, the targeting part is actually on the left side or the left chin. So I think ideally you're gonna go uh, to the left side rather than to the right. Okay, so because it's blocked by the, the fuse lights of the aircraft. Okay, so I think it's going to lock once it's have uh, already got. Uh, okay, that's cool. I think it's. Uh, let's target this one. Uh, okay, one. Yep. Okay. Let's. Uh, oh, damn it! Oh no. Yep, so I think it's uh, a no-go. I need to go away. Uh, Waypoint 2, targeting, uh, target.
sometimes I'm so... You need more practice, I guess, to understand this. Because uh, it's kind of a... Okay, let's move in. So, I'm trying to turn left, flanking left, so I can catch the uh, target from here. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's the target just uh, over there. Come on. I think there's several over here. Okay, let's do that and track, got it, and then away. Uh, let's uh, do another one here. Thing one more. Oh, come on. And track. Seven to destroy it. Oops, it's moving. Boom. Okay, two tank destroyed. I think that's it. And uh, I'm running out of uh, ammo ammunition. And let's go away point four and going back home. Okay, so uh, I think we are going to prepare for. Uh, home I know there will be like a uh, threat assessment sometimes you have to activate your RWR screen just to ensure that nothing's uh, you know uh, on the way so uh, I think we are waypoint or sorry I have an activate waypoint oops I think uh, yeah it's over there Yep, I think that's the, our air base over there. Okay, it's safe. Uh, we can select uh, ADI here. Just ensure that... Uh, that is Tonopa Air Force. Okay, that's... Uh, there's four tanks down. It's a bit tight on my head. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Uh, where's the Air Force uh, Air Force Base? I think that's the Air Base. How come it's four? Uh, let me check. Five. Okay. That's five. The fifth waypoint, not four. Uh, the fourth waypoint. But it's okay because I think the the fourth is the one that we are aligning. So let's go direct uh, landing uh, without. Uh, I don't think they're gonna answer. Okay, so let's go down further. Oops, sorry. Nope. Sometimes you switch the wrong switch, as uh, as you probably seen. Uh, okay, that's the airbase. I'm gonna prepare for uh, landing. We're going to be around on the five miles distance. We're gonna do uh, 
get it on platform and things like that so so let's turn off the player Okay, so we should be ready now. Uh, I think around 1000 should be sufficient. So let's do here. And then we're going to turn and then gear down and then uh, platform, catch the HUD and trim for uh, 30 degree AOA okay oops very high come come on okay yep oops it's very slow yep too slow, I'm too slow, that's why it's uh, kind of uh, uh, okay, that's okay, should be okay. Okay, that's fine tuned for uh, the glide slope. Uh, come on, uh, come on, okay, okay. Okay, that's it. Okay, I think it should be uh, sufficient. Let's uh, try to land. Wind is calm. I don't think there's a, uh, a side wind. Okay, let's aim for that uh, touchdown point. So it's a direct landing rather than uh, doing the uh, downwind kind of approach. So it's much more quicker. Okay. So let's cut off the idles and then uh, speed brake on uh, open. I think it's going to slow down. Okay, below 100. Okay, we are not going to park over there. I think we're gonna do park uh, into the original locations that we are at, which is actually the G or the bunker, no, the second bunker over there so we're gonna return to that bunker so yeah we did the uh, practice today and we're gonna park the aircraft again so it's a full cycle of the flight so rather than a quick flight uh, where you can just go or just in the middle of the flight and then you do the practice but this one is just a, like the real pilot where you have to cold start the aircraft and then uh, return to the airbase and refuel or rearm if you want to and yeah so it's a uh, uh, yeah the audio is missing I guess I think I have to check the, the audio setting I think they kind of off okay uh, we are returning to that hangar but on from the other uh, directions not from this direction so we can uh, depart quickly if you want to straight to the straight to the runway
Okay, so we're gonna turn around. There's no yellow marking here though. Okay, so that's the second hangar that we have to go in. And that's our original positions. Okay, so line up a bit and stop here. Okay, so I don't think the brake is working. Okay, and then injection seat is on. Uh, harness uh, off. Thing uh, let's, uh, lights off. This one at K okay, Auto. Box on. Let's turn this on. Oh, speed brake. I haven't retracted the speed brake. And then turn off MPCD, HUD, radar OK, uh, off, INS off. And this one off. And let's get the ADI. OK. Let's turn off left engine and then open the canopy. Radar off. Okay, off. RWR off. Uh, dispenser off. SCM, let's uh, on, on, turn it on. This one should be, uh, hope so, uh, barometric, just muscle caution off, muscle arm off, working brake on already, and let's turn off the right engine. Okay, that's it guys, uh, I think we managed to uh, complete the training with the AGM and uh, destroy 4 tanks uh, with our 4 AGM IR uh, AGM 65 uh, infrared uh, which is IR matrix so yep so we'll see you again okay bye battery off